Hey guys, my name is Emoji Marbles, and I'm back with another commentary, today I'll be doing a commentary on Brian Griffin's YouTube channel approval on Jonathan's Media Shack reasons why Sunny Day Yes Game of Thrones no sucks, now I know this video will suck, because he said so many stuff that made him a hypocrite, and if any of you guys are going to ask, I have no opinion on Sunny Day Yes Game of Thrones no and Jonathan's Media Shack, for Jonathan's Media Shack, I still don't like the fact that he called me a criminal supporter one time, but I already moved on from it, as for Sunny Day Yes Game of Thrones no, I just don't look at that user too often, now let's get this started. Hey guys, Brian Griffin's YouTube channel here, and I'm doing my first approval, let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm Jonathan's Media Shack here once again. And yes, I am back from my vacation from Florida, and I hope you've had a nice weekend as well. So, anyways, today, I'm going to do a video of all of my reasons of why Sunny Day Yes Games of Thrones no sucks, in my opinion. Yes, you guys have been waiting for a long time, but it's finally here, and to anyone who still likes him, you know what to do. So. Anyways, let's get this started, shall we? Let's go into details of why he sucks, in my opinion. First off, let's just say that he is nothing but a huge man-child. Agreed huge time, he is such a man-child and can't handle criticism at fucking all. You're also one to, Brian Griffin's YouTube channel, because you range in all caps all the time and you said no when I said I can't wait to do a commentary on this, good job Brian. You said the first thing that just made you a hypocrite. One example, whenever he sees a bad video out of him, all he ever does is freak out, and does a shitty commentary on it. Like, come on bro, no need to freak out like that, alright? That's just childish if you ask me. I know right, I told him not to do a commentary on it, but he did it anyway, grrrr. And let me guess, you're going to do a commentary on some of my videos, if they're good, then I'll leave it alone, but if they're bad, then I'll do a commentary on it. 2. He was responsible for making a sock puppet account called Sunny from Sunny Day. Wow, just wow. That is just unbelievable, isn't it folks? Yeah, that is super freaking unbelievable, he needs to delete that account right now. That's odd. Aren't you a sock puppet account made by Peter Griffin, because you and Peter Griffin have something in common, you guys range in all caps all the time, but I'm not entirely sure about that honestly. 3. He claims that Sunny Day, Nella the Princess Knight, Shimmer and Shine, Little Charmers, and Butterbean's Cafe were cancelled, when they weren't, they were still cancelled, and not making any more episodes. Like. Literally, do some fucking research already. Agreed ultra hyper mega extreme explosive mega super duper giga time. He needs to do some research, and Sunny Day yes Game of Thrones no. If you're watching this, do not do a commentary on it. If you do, I will be so triggered even more. For LOL, you're going to be tricked if he does a commentary on this video, that's funny since you're always tricked when people say stuff about you. He can't handle his own hate, nor criticism. One example, he made a commentary on his rant on Peter, and to make matters worse, he bashed his opinion on Little Charmers. Agreed big time, if he does a commentary on it like I said, I will detest him even more instead of ignoring him. Are you fucking serious? Now you're becoming an opinion basher yourself. That's right, he is such an immature opinion basher. Yet in your rant on me, you bashed my opinion on Peppa Pig, and you said if you hate VeggieTales, restore yourself to like it, making you a hypocrite right there. Not only that, he rages in caps which proves he is immature. Yet you rage in all caps all the time yourself, making you a hypocrite once again. Well, I might rage in caps when I get mad sometimes. There's no need for you to rage in all caps all the time, and if you do it on a video about you, it proves you can't handle hate. Not cool dude, 
Nod. Cool. 5. He says really nasty and disgusting random shit to users that he hates. And what's worse, he only does this to girls. Why in God's name would you do that? Huh. That is really uncalled for, and lots of people will call you out for this big time. I know right? That is so gross, as hell that I wanna throw up. Also, girls do not have that part. He should've done it with boys, but he can't, because it's disgusting. I thought he stopped, but he kept going. Yet in your third commentary, you also said something really gross in that video, you're still acting like a hypocrite. 6. He is a massive hypocrite. One example, he claims that the failure adventures term is getting old, right? Well, get ready to be proven wrong. On his Games of Thrones rant, he used that cringe-worthy term in his rant. Wow, what a hypocrite he is, and I mean a massive, an absolute hypocrite. Yes, that is right. He is such a fucking hypocrite. He also uses hypocrite in the wrong context. Wow, dude. If yet you use the wrong context term in the wrong context, making you a hypocrite once again, and also, you're a hypocrite yourself. If he claims that it's getting old nowadays, then why is he using it anyways? That's very ironic. 7. Whenever he rants on users that he hates, he says that they got terminated. Yeah, he said that I got terminated. Like bro, I am still on YouTube. Wow, what a hypocrite you are Stai Golden. Exactly. Dude. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Not every users that he hates got terminated you know. Some of them are still active on YouTube. So I have no idea why the hell he thinks that. But this is getting totally unacceptable. Hey. He sends someone his personal information about his school. What the actual fucking bloody hell? Why the fuck would you do such a thing? Huh. Sending someone your school information has got to be the worst thing anyone has ever done. You should never ever ever do that, because that's personal information. And God forbid, only bad things can happen to you if you ever do such a terrible thing. Yeah, he said that to me, I told him that was personal information and he said it was just his school. Bruh, that is seriously personal information. UGH, when will you ever learn? 9. He treats Games of Thrones like if it's worse than anything in the whole entire world. Like, come on, can't you just ignore it already rather than to be a drama king about it? Huh. This proves you have a massive hate boner to Games of Thrones. I know right, he needs to learn to stop taking Game of Thrones way to the fucking extreme. I will never trust him until he improves. Do you have any proof that he takes Games of Thrones to the extreme? Plus, you also take your haters to the extreme, Mr. Hypocrite YouTube channel. 10. He praises Sunny Day, Nella the Princess Knight, Shimmer and Shine, Little Charmers, and Butterbean's Cafe like if it's better than anything in the whole entire world. Like, come on, they're just shows, and just because you like it, doesn't mean you should praise them like if it's better than anything in the whole entire world, okay. I understand you like them, but don't praise them like it's better than anything else, okay. Agreed big time, that is so idolatry, that is a big sin. Once again, where's your proof? Eleven. He's a plagiarizer. One example, he took Laporte 124's video, and titled it, What to do a sunny salon, without giving credit to him. Agreed. Why didn't he give any credit? He should just give him credit in the description. I am very furious of what he did. Yet in your my reaction to things videos, you use clips that aren't made by you, and the most cringe part is that you don't give credit to the original owners, and just take a look at what I said in this video. I will never give credit, never even use it. I do not. You do realize that if you don't give credit to users by using clips without permission, you're gonna get a copyright strike. You have to give the users credit, cre credit, because if you don't, 
then you're gonna end up getting a copyright strike. I get that you totally not giving the users credit. But thankfully, I do now. So, you better give the original users credit, or else you're gonna end up getting a copyright strike. Really, dude? You know that you can receive a copyright strike for stealing other people's video without giving them credits, right? So, next time, give them credit. It's as simple as that. 12. He claims that he's older now, but he doesn't act like his age. I agree with you. He does not act like a grown-up. He would always act like a stupid fucking man-child. Once again you act like one as well. Stop being such a hypocrite. How embarrassing. 13. He tells people to stop putting fictional characters in the like and hate spot using disgusting terms, etc., but yet, he does the same random shit in his videos, which once again showing us his hypocrisy right there. Yeah, I agree, what a man child he is. Yet on your rant on me, you add Peppa and George Pig in the like spot, making you a hypocrite once again. And finally, 14. Most of his videos are cringe, stupid, and does not make any sense, whatso fucking ever. Yeah, his videos are cringeworthy, rotten, and stupid. Guess what? That includes you too, since you use gross and awful terms. And Sunny Day Yes Games of Thrones No, if you're watching this, don't you even think about doing a shitty ass commentary on it. Because this video was meant for constructive criticism purposes only, not cyberbullying, nor harassment, and if you even dare do so, then guess what? Serious consequences will be coming your way. If he ever does a commentary on it, then I will remake his rant on him and do a commentary on it, and I will feature you. Then why haven't you done a commentary on it already, because he already did a commentary on it? Do you understand of every word I said to you? So, anyways, with that said, this will conclude my video for today. Thanks for watching folks. Make sure you comment, like this video, subscribe to me, turn on notifications, and also, don't forget to send me a request. I'm Jonathan's Media Shack here, signing off, and I will see you guys next time on my next video. Goodbye. I enjoyed the video Jonathan, goodbye, that was a good video, and I totally agree with what he said, anyways. Signing fucking off. Alright, time to sum up this video. It was awful in my opinion, because he said some stuff that made him a hypocrite. And guess what? I did a hypocrite counter, and guess what he got? I know it's not like an unlucky number, and Brian Griffin the hypocrite, if you're watching this, don't you dare attack me for making this commentary, but anyways. Thanks for watching and see you next time.